In this video, I'm going to model the thinking behind creating an SQL query which has multiple restrictions. The query that I'm going to write will list all the customers who are not companies and are not from the USA. So it's a query, therefore we always start with select. We then need to list the fields that we wish to display. In this case, first name and last name we are just asking for the customers and identifying the customers. On the next line we write from and we then identify what table this information is coming from. So it's from the customers table. Now I need to ask do I wish to restrict this information or the results? And the answer is yes. I want to restrict it in two ways. I want to restrict the customers who are from companies and then I also want to restrict the customers that are not from the USA. So I'm just going to come inside the actual table here and show you the data. And we can see in the company field that when a customer is not a member of a company, the field is null. So in our query, we need to restrict. So we write where. Then we need to say the actual field name company and then we want to say is not null because if it's not null it has a company name and therefore it is a company. Now because we're using null it means we're using the is and not the equals operator. Now we have a second restriction and this restriction is an and restriction because we want both restrictions to be um, true for this to actually happen. We want both restrictions to work together. So the second restriction is that the customers are not from the US. So in that case, I need to say, what is the field? So the field is country, spelled correctly. And then the restriction is not equals to USA. Now I'm using the not equals to sign here because we are looking at a value, a entered value into the field. So if I run this query, we have our solution and you can open the um, table up to see if it's correct.